what you guys today we're taking a look at how to make system image backups on Windows 11. This tool has been built into Windows 11 since Windows 7 but first let's have a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key click on this one and then you can uh, see we'll bit the buy now page hit the buy now button put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the search box and type control panel. Open up the control panel and this will give us access to a bunch of features that are built inside Windows. As you can see here on the category section, you should see backup and restore Windows 7 under the system and security settings. If you have got this sort of view, then change it to category and then you can find uh, the backup uh, solution there. So go back to category and then all you need to do here is select backup and restore Windows 7. So click on this one and uh, from here you've got two options, create a system image and create a system repair disk. We're going to be creating a system image. Click on uh, that one there. And it will open up the create a system image box. It's going to do uh, some work here to get it prepared. Make sure you've got your drive installed into the computer that you want to back it up to, or you've got a very large external drive here. You can see this one has quite a lot of space on it, but you have to make sure you've got enough space to copy the system image over to it. So I'm going to change this destination to a, another drive, which has got terabytes of space on it. So I'm going to go up to drive E and we can put it on there. So that is going to be stored on a hard drive, which is a separate hard drive inside my computer. You can save it on a network location like a NAS or something like that. And you can also make uh, more DVDs. I'm not sure that's a really good idea because that would just take forever to do. So here we have our image files here that we're going to be copying across. So from here, you can see they're already checkmarked. And it's going to take a fair bit of size because there's a lot of stuff on this drive. Uh, so I'd advise you to do this on a drive that's just been installed with all the stuff that you want to keep. Don't try to put on there uh, sort of antivirus programs because they will get outdated. So just try and keep it bare bones with all the programs and stuff that you want to keep. Once you've got that done, uh, you want to make sure that all of the temporary files and all the old rubbish has been emptied off of the computer to make sure that that is not going to take up loads of space, i.e., you can see in the download section is 150 gigabytes in use. I should empty that off and make sure all the other areas are cleared out as well with your temporary files. Once you've got that done, you can go back into this uh, section here. I'm just going to quickly highlight the E drive here because I have cleared out some space. And there we go. I'm going to leave those check marks there and we can now push next. So let's go next. And you can see now it's got the selection here that it needs. So all we need to do now is push start backup and this will start the backup to the location that we chose, which is on our E drive. And this will take up a fair bit of space. So I'm going to let that copy across. And again, this does take a fair bit of time. So be patient. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to create a system repair disk? Now system repair disk can be used to boot to your computer and also recover from that image that you've made a backup on. So it's always a good idea to have a system repair disk uh, created. And you can use a USB flash drive to create a uh, system repair disk if you want to. Here's the system image that has been created. It's been put into a folder called Windows Image Backup and you can see all the files here. And these are the files that are gonna be restored if you wanna restore your system image. And this will put it back exactly how it was when you created that system image. And that is pretty much it. That is basically how you can create or make a system image backup on Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.